children hope everyone is staying safe and healthy children last class we have studied about metals react with water which the general formula i have already taught you that when metals react with water it form metal oxide and hydrogen gas released somehow if the reaction is slow then it become metal oxide plus water and it form metal hydroxide so i recalled what i taught you in last class and i told you that related with metals react with water or metal oxide react with water i will do one activity let's start with activity 4.5 in your ncert book page number 48 for this activity your materials required the aim will be to show that first of all let me write the aim so that it will be easy for you to show that sodium i'm putting the symbol sodium react vigorously with water you have to show the metal sodium reaction with water and the reaction is vigorously reaction the materials required for this are a piece of sodium filter paper to test is this acid or base we require litmus paper both the litmus paper that is blue and red then moreover we required some amount of water so the first piece of sodium second filter paper third litmus paper both blue and red litmus paper the fourth one you will take some amount of water and the fifth one you will take some amount of uh cotton so you can put some amount of cotton and the last one we will take beaker now let's start the procedure because sodium reacts vigorously so the procedure has to be very carefully you have to go with the procedure when you do it in the lab that is why first step you will take the beaker step number 1 you will take the beaker step number 2 around 250 ml beaker is there so you will fill this beaker half 250 ml the entire beaker is 250 ml and you will fill the beaker half filled with water directly you will not take the sodium and you will drop over here no it's wrong you will take the piece of sodium third step you will clean the sodium you will clean the sodium with filter paper clean ka matlab ye nahi hai ki sodium ka piece ganda hai you will clean means you will dry whatever moisture is there on that sodium you have to dry it otherwise what will happen it will react initially only dalne se pani mein dalne se pehle ye react kar jayega so dry it with the filter paper jitna thoda bahut pani iske upar hai it will be soaked by filter paper then also because the reaction is very vigorous bahut zyada vigorous hai your fourth step you will take this dry sodium and you will wrap it isko ekdam wrap karna hai with the help of cotton cotton loge aur iske andar ye sodium daloge and you will wrap it and the fifth one after that you will put this sodium that is wrapped sodium with cotton in water because sodium reacts immediately to form sodium hydroxide isliye humko wo reaction dekhna hai ki kya reaction ho raha hai to test with the uh, blue and red litmus paper humne is sodium ko we have wrapped the sodium with some amount of cotton 
we will find this is our procedure these are the five steps for procedure goes on now children your observation your observation comes like this your observation will be that is sodium you will write here your observation tum dekhoge hi jaise hi tumne yahan sodium ko pani ke andar dala you will find a splash is coming out and this reaction tumko within a second tum dekhoge sodium pani ke sath react kar gaya and when sodium has been react with water we use the word a vigorous a vigorous reaction takes place between sodium and between sodium and water and to test that your result which we say to test that that the solution is acid or base you will take both the litmus paper that is blue litmus paper and another one should be red litmus paper so this one is the blue litmus paper and another one will be your red litmus paper so let me see the red litmus paper also so here we go with the uh, red litmus paper after some time that is we don't have to wait for 2 or 3 minutes also within a minute because the reaction is vigorous reaction as soon as you put the litmus paper in the solution you will find that the red litmus paper as soon as it come in touch with the solution the final solution the red litmus paper start turning into blue and when the red litmus paper start turning into blue we consider that the solution is basic in nature because it has been said that red to blue basic let me recall this also and blue to red acidic so always remember when metals react when metals react with water the solution is always basic because it is a vigorous re, uh, reaction so we cannot do the test of hydrogen but if you want to do the test of hydrogen also you can take any other metal whose reaction is little bit slow so there also you will find when the reaction uh, metal react with water it will form a basic solution plus the here also you can do but all you have to do very fast then only you can find that is hydrogen is coming with the fumes or not but better if we go with certain metals which whose reaction is little bit slow so if the fumes are coming we can collect that fumes and then we can use a burning splinter ya burning match stick le lo ya splinter hota hai ek lakdi ka tukda uske upar you will wrap a cloth and a certain amount of kerosene the slight uh, oil or kerosene you will dip in that and just you will put the fumes which is coming out ye jo fumes nikalte hain you will put the burning splinter just near that fume just the mouth of the splinter should be near the uh, this fume and you will hear a sound of pop sound a pop sound indicates that a gas has been released in the reaction and the gas is hydrogen gas that is why when i write the chemical reaction i will write in this way the chemical reaction goes like this way because i have done with sodium so i will write the reaction for sodium so it is sodium react with water to form sodium vigorous इतना ऑक्साइड फॉर्म करने का उसके पास समय ही नहीं है इट विल फॉर्म सोडियम हाइड्रोक्साइड एंड हाइड्रोजन गैस इसको हमने टेस्ट किया बाय ब्लू एंड रेड लिटमस पेपर और इसको तुमको टेस्ट अगर करना है यू विल टेक नियर बाय द माउथ ऑफ द बीकर यू विल टेक बर्निंग स्प्लिंटर और मैथस्टिक 
किसी को भी ले लो वट एवर यू फाइंड इट इज इजियर एंड अवेलेबल इन द लैब यू टेक नियर बाय द माउथ ऑफ अगर टेस्ट ट्यूब में कर रहे हो तो टेस्ट ट्यूब के मुंह के पास लेकर जाओगे अगर बीकर में कर रहे हो तो यू विल टेक नियर बाय द माउथ ऑफ द बीकर एंड यू विल हेयर अ साउंड विच वी से इट इज अ पॉप साउंड एंड दिस प्रैक्टिकल यू विल डू इन स्टैंडर्ड टेन फॉर स्टैंडर्ड एट वी हैव ओनली टू अंडरस्टैंड वेन मेटल रिएक्ट विद वॉटर वॉट हैपन्स एंड विच गैस रिलीजेस Now this is metal react with water, and our next topic for water will be non-metal. One by one we have done metal react with oxygen, non-metal react with oxygen, metal react with water, non-metals react with water. So my next topic will be non-metals react with water, and your answer will be no reaction. takes place between non metals and water your answer will be no reaction takes place between non metal and water and you will find this statement in page number 49 of your ncert and you will mark the line to be mark it to be important only thing you have to remember for non metals not for uh, water with oxygen non metals only react with air and in air also oxygen so highly non reactive non metal which in air you don't have to require to give any of the combustion reaction to it koi bhi fire ka zarurat hi nahi hai wahan pe you just keep it on a plate a small amount of that non metal it will react vigorously with air and what is that non metal air matlab oxygen hota hai not water only the non metal you remember which is highly reactive with air maximum non metals are react with air that is oxygen but highly reactive non metal is phosphorus 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 react with oxygen in a room temperature also in a room temperature and that too which color phosphorus that is white color red color we find it with mat in a matchstick that you can use it and you keep it in the room temperature that will not catch fire but this white phosphorus if you keep it in a room also it will catch fire by its own because it's a highly reactive non metal but no non metals react with water so whenever we speak for non metals you will write no reaction takes place between non metals and water point to be noted it should be marked in page number 49 of your ncert If you have any doubt children you can ask me through campus care thank you and have a nice day